come now to the award for Outstanding Achievement in the Arts. To reveal the winner, please welcome from the official headline partner of the Asian Awards, UK Sotheby's International Realty, International Director of Indian and South Asian Art, Yamini Mehta, please. And alongside Yamini, uh, radio and TV presenter Nihal Anandzaika. <laughs> Lovely to see you. Or better known, better known to my kids as the DJ. You love your dubstep and drum and bass. I know you do, Lord Cook. I'm a jazz man. You're a jazz man. So I've heard. Okay. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Oh, that was lame. Hello, everyone. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. Wow, this is beautiful. What multiculturalism at its best? Like a Dulux paint color chart in a room, isn't it? Lovely. Lovely to see. Like Nick Griffin's worst nightmare. Okay. I'm delighted to present this award to a writer whose works explore sometimes the intimate experiences of British Asians. And here is a little bit about him. This worthy winner is a controversial playwright, screenwriter, filmmaker, novelist and short story writer whose work deals with race, nationalism, immigration and sexuality. His first play, Soaking the Heat, opened in 1976 at London's Royal Court Theatre, where he became its writer-in-residence in 1981 and went on to win the coveted George Devine Award for his play Outskirts. His first novel, a satirical portrait of race relations in Britain, was the semi-autobiographical The Buddha of Suburbia, which took the Whitbread First Novel Award and was successfully adapted for television by the BBC. He's won praise and awards on both sides of the Atlantic for his work, including the searing comedy Sammy and Rosie Get Laid and the Academy Award-nominated My Beautiful Laundrette. An enviable and successful track record by this year's winner for Outstanding Achievement in the Arts. And the winner is Hanif Qureshi. An outspoken commentator on multiculturalism in Britain, Hanif Qureshi was born in South London to a Pakistani father from a wealthy Madras family and an English mother, and they settled in Bromley, where he was brought up. Thank you very much. It's a great honour and uh, pleasure. And I'm sure you're surprised not to see Hilary Mantel up here this evening. Um, had Hilary Mantel uh, a drop of Pakistani blood, I'm sure uh, she'd have been up here like a shot. Um, I'd just like to say, while we think about the, the, the legacy of Lady Thatcher, um, I should also uh, stress that she didn't, it seemed to me, show much gratitude for the, the work we did in the empire in colonial times and the work we've done as immigrants in this country particularly in the post-war period, and my father came to this country uh, at the beginning of the 50s. Um, and I also think that we should try and be very aware of the rise and the re-rise of, uh, of, of racism, particularly in Eastern Europe, including in, in Russia, but also here in Britain, where there is much talk, as, uh, as you know, of immigrants and asylum seekers and so on in, 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 in a derogatory way. Um, I'm sure many of us here have been, been subject to, to different forms of racism and it's something that we always have to be wary of and we mustn't forget. Anyway, thank you very much indeed. Winning the Asian Award for Outstanding Achievement in the Arts, Hanif Qureshi, and thanks to Sotheby's International Realty.